Okay, now we're going to look at some of the vocabulary that I will be using when I talk about nouns on this course. And the most important thing to understand about nouns is that they can be countable or uncountable. And I think a lot of people don't pay um, particular attention to this, this idea, this fact. And that's why they find articles very difficult. A, the, an, and no article. And don't get me wrong, that is a really difficult topic. It's very difficult to learn and get correct every, in every single sentence. And it's very difficult for someone like me to teach because there are so many exceptions. But I can tell you now that if you get a good grasp of the difference between countable and uncountable nouns in English, it will be much easier to use a, an, and the, and no article. I think a lot of people don't think it's that important for articles, but it's extremely important. In fact, it's crucial. Now, firstly, something I want you to know about with countable and uncountable nouns is that with countable nouns, you need to use many. Or if you're talking about not many, you need to use few. And if you want to use a comparative form, it's fewer. Now, I'm going to be honest with you here. Very few natives use fewer and few, well, especially fewer, correctly. Very few natives. Most natives say there are less cars on the road nowadays. And that is wrong. Yeah, even though natives say it, it is wrong. They should say there are fewer cars on the road nowadays, but very few natives get that one correct. Most natives use less, which is for uncountable nouns. So I want you to be better than the natives and to say I make fewer mistakes now that I've finished this course, something like that, and not I make less mistakes, which would not be correct. Yeah, I make fewer mistakes, but you listen to the natives. They say that one almost every time. In fact, I think they say it every time. And so did I, because when I grew up, everybody said that and I assumed it was the correct form, but it's not. OK, and another one which everybody gets wrong, all the natives, is the number of plus countable noun and the amount of plus uncountable noun. So you say the number of cars on the road has decreased and not the amount of cars on the road has decreased. No, not the amount of, the number of cars, because cars is countable. And you can see it's countable because cars is plural. Yeah, this is another word I'm gonna use a lot on this course. Singular nouns, which means one, like bed, child, man, person, and plural nouns, which means many, like beds, men, children, people. And yes, do notice that we have a number of irregular plurals. OK, we do have some irregular, some uh, nouns which become plural in an irregular way. We don't just add an S and say man's, child's, person's. They are incorrect. We say men, children, people. OK, so that's another thing that I want you to get a good grasp of straight away. The difference between singular and plural. And please understand that if a noun can be made plural, it's definitely countable. Only countable nouns have plural forms. Uncountable nouns never have a plural form. And so, uh, well, I'll, I'll look at nouns which can be both in a second. But if we take an uncountable noun that's always uncountable, like information, you can't say informations. It's always wrong. Yeah, and so that's something else to understand about uncountable nouns. OK, but with countable, we use a or the in the singular. We must. We can't have no article with a countable noun used in the singular. OK, but with uncountable nouns in the singular, we mustn't have anything. They have no article for the singular form. OK, there's nothing before an uncountable noun for the singular. Um, OK, you might use the article the before an uncountable noun in the, in the singular. You might, but often it's nothing. So I shouldn't say always, but we often use nothing. Let's put it like that. Often nothing for singular.